Good morning, planet Earth. It is 4 a.m., and this is the first video of summer. It's actually the first video I've ever done over the summer uh, of a Life in MIT video uh, while on summer vacation. So, to summarize, basically, I've been on summer break now for, uh, I don't know, um, like, what's today? One, two, four, nine, like six, six, seven weeks. Um, I'd like to say that I was wildly productive and, you know, I got tons of work done and prepara preparation for, for next semester and, uh, you know, did a lot of cool things. But it turns out when you work all uh, very intensely um, all semester, uh, it is sometimes difficult to motivate yourself to work when you don't really have to. Uh, so. My summer has so far has basically consisted of me going to bed at about 4 or 5, waking up at 1 or 2, and working on Junction. Uh, I mentioned that I uh, am teaching a whole bunch of physics seminars. Um, that starts in about a week, actually, uh, July 10th, Tuesday. Um, and my first thing I'm going to be doing is a, a class on scattering of light, uh, which is why the sky is blue. Um, and I watched the first, like, one and a half seasons of X-Files, and now I'm watching The West Wing. Um, so I, you know, I'm watching some cool shows. Um, I ate a box of popcorn in about a week. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm continuing, I, I'm going to kind of restart my grad school search. I've signed up to take my uh, teacher examination um, next Saturday, uh, which in Massachusetts is called the MTELS, um, and I'll be taking the physics one and the general one, like, so can you, you know, spell and, like, write, and can you read and understand what you read? So I, I don't anticipate that being wildly difficult. I actually took the math one, the practice math one, when I was in high school. They posted on their website. And I passed it in high school. So I would would suspect I will be similarly successful uh, next week. But, you know, we'll see. And then I'm, I'm doing the GRE, which is the graduate something exam, um, for that's at the end of July, um, which you grad schools want you to have. It's like the SAT of grad school and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, for those of you, a few random announcements, for those of you who missed the Google Hangout, which went on for three and a half hours because it was awesome, uh, I will be having more, um, and I will, you know, announce when those are. Uh, important news, especially for someone like me, who likes physics, uh, there's an announcement going on right now that, um, Scientists at CERN believe they have found the Higgs boson, uh, which is the particle that, um, well, not exactly. People like to say it's the particle get, that gives matter its mass. But in fact, it's really the Higgs field that gives matter its mass. And the Higgs boson is, is the result of that field. Um, one way to think about it is if you, you have this field, then you have a disturbance in the field, and it kind of gets twisted and wrinkled around, and then you get a particle. And in the Higgs field, you get a Higgs boson. Um, you can use similar analogies for other types of fields. Uh, quantum field theory is interested in that. Uh, yeah. So, um, other things I have to do. Um, there's not a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying enjoying my time off. I guess. Cool. Um, I'm really excited to start teaching. Um, my first, like I said, my first class is on scattering. I'm gonna actually build a a sunset where I have a you know a tank of water, and I'll shine a projector light through it, and the blue light will scatter off to the side like a sky, and then the circle on the screen will turn yellow, orange, red, and actually look like a setting sun. Um, so it's a pretty cool experiment. Um, next class is on education policy. It'll be more of a discussion. Uh, and then I'm doing special relativity, physics of climate change, politics of climate change, cosmic radiation, uh, quantum mechanics, uh, a math class on the um, 
expanding binomial theorem to a uh, polynomial of any size, which strikes home for me, because a lot of you ask what I did in high school, and I don't often touch upon that subject. Um, but besides being involved in a lot of extracurricular things, one of the things I did was work extensively on expanding the binomial theorem to uh, generalize it for polynomials uh, with more than two terms, and I was successful in that. Uh, and I called it the general theory of polynomial expansions, and then learned that actually it already exists, and it's called multinomial theorem. But nice try, Ryan. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, wish I could tell you more, but there's not much to say. So, uh, I've been eating dark chocolate M&M's, along with, um, like I said, popcorn. Um, and it's it's been good. And uh, I have, let's see, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Tish, nine-ish weeks till school starts. So lots of times you still do things, um, which I'd like to. I'd like to do some writing actually over the summer, um, which is something I enjoy very much. Uh, and I did a lot of in high school, and I don't get to necessarily. But uh, and I'm also looking to, um, you know, yeah, next year for the tech write a lot more articles. I have on my board, on my board there, right here. That's all articles, article ideas that I want to write. Um, so that, um, and yeah, it should be it should be good. It's been it's been a good summer so far. Uh, I hope all of you are enjoying your summers. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing over the summer, um, and I'll be sure to mention when my next Google Hangout is. Uh, until then, peace.